Hello there, Sagittarius. How are you? Uh, thank you so kindly for stopping by Brown Eyes Intuitions and your lovely hostess, Brown Eyes, here for another video. So Sagittarius, you are up, my darling. Today we're finding out uh, secretly what does your person want you to know or secretly what does your person want to say to you. Um, this is a general read in Sagittarius, so it may not resonate with you. It may or may not resonate with you. So if you see anything that resonates, just take that part that fits, but don't try to force it to fit if it doesn't apply. Um, we're not talking about gender. We're talking about energy. It could be masculine or feminine energy. It could be same-sex relationships. It doesn't matter. We're pulling energy here. So Sagittarius, today we're pulling from the Love Oracle card deck here. I'm going to be pulling one card for your person's overall energy to give it, get an overall idea of the energy that your person is in. Now remember, this is secretly what your person wants you to know. Secretly. They're, they're not saying it physically, but energetically, secretly, this is what your person wants you to know. Okay, so, um, oh yeah, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for my new subscribers. I really do appreciate you guys so much. You guys are totally, totally amazing. Thank you guys so, so much. So, okay, uh, Sagittarius, let's hop right on into it now. Sagittarius, your reading is, um, it's kind of different for me. So this, this particular reading for Sagittarius may be only specific for a one or two people here because I see it's, you know, from what I'm gathering. Now I'm going to have to clarify, of course, but so far it may just be, you know, just specifically for a couple of people or one or two people at best, you know. So your person's overall energy, Sagittarius, is coming out in the kisses energy. It says, unconditionally loving, giving, and receiving affection, falling in love. Your person is in love with you, Sagittarius. Your person is so in love with you. They are. They miss your kisses. They, they miss the intimacy with you. Your person is in love with you. So that is your person's overall energy here. Now, your card next to kisses, we have the Queen of Cups here. So, Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a... Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. But we know the Queen of Cups is a very loving, nurturing energy here. That's highly intuitive and psychic and stuff like that. Your person is, um, I feel like this is your person here. Like this is your person in love with you. This is what your, your person feels about you. They're in love with you. They miss the intimacy with you. They miss that. They miss the affection. Because Sagittarius, if your person is a Scorpio, which this is the Queen of Cups, water energy. Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be a Scorpio. But if your person is indeed this water sign, then it would make sense that your person feels this. This that it makes sense that your person's in this kisses energy, which is unconditionally loving, giving, receiving affection, falling in love. This is this is water energy all day, every day, and this energy here. So it would make sense if your person is a water sign, Sagittarius is all I'm saying. So your person has a lot of love for you. This is your person with their cup. I feel like your person wants to pour out their love to you. Your person wants to give you their love. Your person is in love with you, Sagittarius. But I feel like your person is going through some things at this time, Sagittarius. It may have absolutely nothing to do with you. So next to the Queen of Cups, we have the Star card. So Sagittarius, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. So the Star card represents hope. Uh, inspiration, um, healing. I feel like your person is going through some type of deep healing here. And not only just deep healing, I feel like your person is going through some type of health issue here that has them very sick. So next to the star card, we have the eight of cups. I feel like this is your person, the water sign, if it is a water sign that's walking away from their emotions. And I feel like they're not walking away from their emotions, but they're walking away from this connection at this time because they're sick. They're unhealthy. They're trying to heal themselves. And I feel like whatever they're going through, they don't want you to partake in that. They don't want you to go through this because it's such a horrible time for them. Because um, I feel like Sagittarius, them walking away from you left you in this five of cups energy where you're feeling bad. You're feeling regretful because I feel like you, you equally cared about this person as well. Because crown of the five of cups is the queen of cups. So it's, it's like this is you, Sagittarius, crying over your, your queen of cups here. You know what I'm saying? Because they walked away in this eight of cups here. Now, right next to the five of cups, we have the five of swords here. Excuse me, the, the four of swords here. 
Now we know the Four of Swords represents um, laying something to rest, taking a break, uh, resting, uh, healing. So see the Four of Swords, crown of the Four of Swords is the star card. So you have two healing cards here. So I feel like your person was sick. And this Four of Swords even represents someone uh, trying to heal themselves because they were sick. Or someone who was bedridden because they because of some type of illness here. So I feel like your person's really been trying to heal themselves and get over this sickness, whatever this is. And as a result, they walked away from you because they didn't want you to see them like that. They didn't want you to deal with this. Your person, I feel like your person, I don't think your person has pride. I just think your person didn't want to put this burden on you. Because next to the four swords, we have the seven of wands. Your person standing their ground. They meant what they said. They're walking away from this connection until they can heal themselves. And it's under the condition that they can heal themselves. Because this person, I feel like your person, Sagittarius, is in a very bad health condition. And they don't want to be in a relationship with you like that. They want to completely heal themselves. But with the star card showing up, that means that they are healing themselves. But I feel like your person probably had to walk away, take some time out to completely heal themselves. So your person may have taken a break from this relationship, but it wasn't because they was doing something wrong. It's because they really were sick. They were very sick. But with the star, I see that they are healing. So that's a good thing. But your person has so much love and respect for you, they didn't want you to have to witness this sickness that they're going through, Sagittarius. Now, let's clarify some things. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Now, clarify the star. Why is the star here for a Sagittarius person? Sagittarius person secretly, secret, secretly wants Sagittarius to know. Uh -oh. Okay. Sagittarius. What does your person secretly want you to know, Sagittarius? Clarify the star. A Sagittarius person. What does Sagittarius person secretly wants Sagittarius to know? Clarify the star card. Why is the star card here for Sagittarius this person? Clarify the star, please. So we have the two of pentacles here. So I feel like your person was trying to balance them li their life out. I feel like it wasn't a good time for them to be in a, re a serious relationship because of all of this sickness that they went through. I feel like this sick, whatever this illness that your person had to heal themselves was heal themselves from, was very costly. So they could have been juggling their finances. They could have been trying to get their money in order as a result. Of the sickness because if you're in the hospital because you got the four swords here then that's costly so I feel like your person even though your person loves you your person took ill your person felt like the only logical thing to do with this seven of ones was to walk away that was the only logical thing they felt that they could do because of the love that they do have for you so to start we have the two of Pentacles here uh, so that represents to me your person was juggling your person was juggling their life in order to get it back on track because of what fell on them. I feel like sickness fell on them, so it threw everything out of order. Therefore, they're having to heal themselves with the star card. So, yeah, they walked away, but it was only just to uh, better themselves. So one more card for the star card here, please. Clarify the star for Sagittarius person. Sagittarius person secretly want Sagittarius to know. What does Sagittarius person secretly want Sagittarius to know, please? Clarify the star card, please. Uh -oh. Clarify the star. Okay, so now you have the Ten of Swords here. So Sagittarius, you may have felt betrayed by this person. You may have felt that just because they walked away from you, they walked out of your life, that they was doing something shady or they was walking towards someone else. But based on these cards and the energy, I feel like your person walked away from you because they was out of order. You know, it may have felt like a betrayal because your person just didn't have it. Your person was not in a position. It, it, it almost seems like 
you guys were doing good in this relationship, then your person got sick. And then when your person got sick, they had to pull away from you because everything fell apart. You know, when you're sick, you're not able to work. So you're not able to work. You're not able to make money. That's why you have the two of pentacles here. So as a result of this person getting taken ill, it just knocked everything off of balance here. So in a sense, it left you feeling betrayed because you felt like such as here that your person, you know, showed you that they loved you but at the same time they walked away from you so i feel like it made you feel like this person had betrayed you because you thought that they was walking towards someone else but in all actuality your person just trying to heal their life and get their life back on track here so this eight of cups no we need the eight of cups no let's do this four of swords clarify the four of swords for sagittarius person why is the four of swords here for sagittarius person Clarify the four sword for Sagittarius person. Sagittarius person energy. Secret energy. Secretly wants Sagittarius to know. Four swords. You have the Empress. So this may be how they look at you. They took a break from you, but this you're on you. It's like your person took a break to heal, but at the same time, you're on their mind here. So, or they took a break from you. They probably look at you like, like you're their empress. They probably look at you like you're their better half, uh, Sagittarius. So clarify the four swords. Why is the four swords here for Sagittarius person? Sagittarius person secretly wants Sagittarius to know. What does Sagittarius person secretly wants Sagittarius to know? Clarify the four swords, please. Now you have the queen of cups. Oh boy. So you have the Empress. You got the Queen of Cups here twice. So now it's looking like there's someone else in the game here. So it's looking like your person is looking like. So that's that may be why the Ten of Swords came out, is because Sagittarius feel like you walk. Okay. It seems like Sagittarius felt like if 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 your person was feeling ill or took on some type of illness or something, you could have walked them through, you could have worked that out with them, but they chose to walk away from that. They walked away from eight of cups. Eight of cups is a lot of emotions. That's that's from you, Sagittarius. You are the queen of cups in this spread. So now when we get the four of swords here, we're clearing from the four of swords, we get the empress and the queen of cups. Remember, we always have the queen of cups, which is you, Sagittarius. So now it seems like we have another player on the table here. That's the empress. This is a, a, a parent of their child, a person they have children with, a divine feminine here as well. So, or it could be, it could be a, a parent, could be their mother. So this person took a break from everybody, it seems. I wonder why this, this empress is here, though. All right, Sagittarius, you're going to make me work for this. Okay. So why is this empress here? What's up with this empress? Clarify the empress for Sagittarius person. Clarify the empress for Sagittarius person, please. Why is the empress here? Clarify the empress for Sagittarius person. Damn, you got the eight of cups again. We know that your person walked away. From, we know that. So it's like it's emphasizing. So maybe the Empress and the Queen of Cups, you're the same person. This is how your per Because remember, your person has a lot of love for you. So maybe this person is looking upon you like the Empress and the Queen of Cups here. One more card for the Empress. Clarify the Empress, please. Why the Empress here? The Sagittarius person. Clarify the Empress here. Oh, goodness. Now you have the devil. Mm. You could be dealing with a Capricorn here, Sagittarius. So something was toxic about... Something was toxic here. Something was toxic with your person, Sagittarius, and this empress here. So this could be the parent of their child. So it seems like your person was sick and they took a break to heal themselves but they not only left you alone, they left the parent of their child alone too. So, but your parent, the, the parent of their child is a toxic, that's a toxic relationship right there. That's binding there. Maybe this is what made them sick. 
Ooh, child, here we go. So let's Queen of Cups. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Sagittarius person. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Sagittarius person. What does Sagittarius secretly want Sagittarius to know? Clarify the Queen of Cups, please. So you have the Nine of Pentacles. That's you, Sagittarius. You single. You that Queen of Cups. So maybe that's why the Ten of Swords is showing up. It's because maybe you already know, Sagittarius, that your person was involved with someone else. That's why you're feeling betrayed and backstabbed here. Because your person was juggling. Your person, I feel like your person got sick. Everything fell apart. But they could have been juggling two relationships. They could have been juggling finances within with, with you and with this empress here too. So, but Sagittarius, you're showing up nine of pentacles. You good. You, I mean, you good, Sagittarius. But this other relationship I feel like your person is involved with is a toxic karmic relationship here. But your person took a break from that. Your person It's like anything that interfered in your person's healing themselves, they took a break from it. I don't feel like they walked away from you, Sagittarius, because you was a negative influence. But I feel like your person needed this. I, I actually feel like this was a life, a, life, uh, a life or death situation where your person didn't need any type of distractions. They needed to really heal themselves here. So I feel like your person walked away from anything emotional just so they could get their selves together because what's supporting that is the seven of wands. They, they, they meant what they said. They, they, they mean that because I feel like this person's life depended on it. They Their energy has not changed towards yours. You're still this queen of cups and they still look at you as single and abundant. But over here, you know, like I say, they have someone else too, but it's a toxic situation here, a karmic situation. It could be, like I said, it could be their parent or it could be a parent of their child that they have, your person has with. I didn't think that, I didn't know all that was going to show up, but hey, it is what it is. So this is what the four of swords is all about. Your person's trying to heal, but I feel like your person took a break from anything that was affecting them. I feel like you affected them, Sagittarius, but in a good way. And I feel like the parent of their child was always affecting them too, but in a negative way. So this person was sick. They didn't need that. So yeah, that's why you got the eight of cups. They had to walk away from all of that because their body couldn't handle it. So now you got these seven of wands. Clarify the seven of wands for Sagittarius person. What does Sagittarius person secretly want Sagittarius to know, please? Clarify the seven of wands, please. So we have the queen of swords here. You like, yes, like I say, your person mean what they say. Your person is, is standing strong on healing themselves and not being influenced by anything negatively and willing to cut everything out of its way that interferes in that. So that's why uh, the Queen of Swords has clarified this, the Seven of Wands because your person is so serious about getting healed. Whatever this sickness is, I feel like it almost took your person out of here, Sagittarius. That's why they had to discard and dis. Uh, walk away from any type of emotional relationships, anything that was going to fuck them up emotionally, because I feel like it fucked with their health and they couldn't afford to deal with that. I feel like they could deal with you, uh, Sagittarius, but I feel like they didn't want you to see them in this state. But all along, because look at what they're going through. This person is sick. I feel like they finances in jeopardy. Not only are they dealing with this sickness, they dealing with the parent of their child or some type of karmic partner that's fucking with them. You know, that this won't go away. You know, it seems like they're trying to walk away from this person, but this person's still in their energy here. So now this person has the seven of wands. And you got the queen of swords. So one more card for the seven of wands, please. Clarify the seven of wands for a Sagittarius person. What does Sagittarius person secretly want Sagittarius to know? What does Sagittarius person secretly want Sagittarius to know? Clarify the seven of wands, please. So now we have the six of wands. See, your person wants to be victorious. Your person trying to live. You hear me? Your person is trying to walk away from anything that's interfering with them healing themselves because I feel like it's that important here. So your person is not backing down. They, Your person, Sagittarius, your person looks like they have a lot of love for you, but when they got sick or whatever this sickness is, 
I feel like they cut out everything that would interfere in them recuperating and getting healthy because it was too much strain on their life and their body. So as a result, they ended some things, even walking away from you, even though they have a lot of love for you because they had a lot of toxic shit going on in their life at the wrong time. So Sagittarius, this has been your reading for your person. What does your person secretly want you to know? If this uh, video resonates with you, Sagittarius, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment, and I will talk to you on the next video. Bye.